All right, let's get rolling. As far as I can tell, I'm gonna say it takes no more than 20 minutes to complete Classic Science's entire campaign. Doink, doink. From what I understand as well, it, um, apparently the both versions of the game got Green Hill Zone. Like the only level that represents the same game and the same in both versions. Alright, I made that jump sweet. Uh, otherwise, I was thinking they could probably have done, like, Starlight Zone. That was a fan favorite too. In fact, that was my favorite level in the first game. But I guess people would have crucified them if their version didn't get Green Hill Zone, being how iconic it is. Although, on the other hand, it might have looked a little too much like Speed Highway for Classic Sonic. Oh fuck, I didn't make it. Oh well. Wanna know something sad? If I had taken all the game's cutscenes and played them back to back, I actually think it would have taken longer than this playthrough is gonna be. I love this level. I'm just gonna throw it out right now. Really fun. There's no way you can go so low in this level. Which you would think is, like, indicative of Sonic in general, right? I think you can probably go still have to go to the very bottom of the level where there's just those annoying ass fucking blue yellow blocks that spin on each other and a lot of this shit with the blue gel. But otherwise, it's a fun level. Um, I think the 3DS version got Casino Night by contrast, which is the more known level in that game. <clears throat> I'm only gonna take one trip into the uh, grape juice at the bottom. You can glitch out that jump, I think, and skip what I'm doing right now. Or that, uh, loop to loop to me. Alright, now I gotta hit a button. In the grid juice. These things, that's what I was talking about earlier. The blue and yellow spinny blocks. Oh, fuck, I'm in, I'm in the bumper. Let's keep this in front of Oh god, let me go! Oh god! Okay. There we go. Fucking honey in that chair, mascot. Okay, walking on air there's your Sonic. I've done this level maybe about 17 times now, trying to get a good recording. At this point, the commentary probably just gonna run together. By the way, if you notice in the background there, the Death Egg is just lift, lifting up the ground. Nice touch, I'm not gonna look at it myself, I just know it's there, because it's focusing. Don't shoot me! Beautiful. Those robots are a pain in the ass, if you, don't, you, you need to know in advance, with how fast they shoot, because their charge animation is the same. Some shoot really quickly. These three shoot really quickly. This guy shoots insanely quick. I just spin edge No, you don't. Beautiful. I'm a little behind, but who gives a shit? Let's go Super Saiyan. Yeah, I can do that now, didn't you know? I'm playing this with the skills on. In fact, the only skill you can assign with a lot of supersonic is you know, more supersonic, because it takes 100 points, it's the only skill you can use. For, for classic Sonic, supersonic mode is really just a minor buff in all areas. He's a little faster, he's a little higher, he's invincible, things like that. Oh my god, I'm invincible and supersonic. The universe should have just caved in on itself. Of course he's dead. Fucking supersonic and invincible. That'd be pretty cool if you actually got the supersonic and the invincible power and it did something like it gave him a rainbow coloring, like it turned him into hypersonic. That'd be awesome. Especially for this game. Ah! Damn it, I want those rings. I'll just go back and get them this way. I don't even know if you can make that jump and get them, but I try. Push the button with my face and you're almost done. Ooh, I almost went between the clouds and fell. That would have been humiliating. Now, I really love this level. This being Sonic Adventure 1's representation. This is probably one of the best levels in the game for Classic. Tons of these things out, those falling platforms. It's like this. Okay, now don't get hit by traffic. Okay, that was close. I almost, did. I almost got speared by a minivan. Had to talk about It's happened like six recordings now. Let's see if I can make this jump. Got it. That's a pain in the ass to do, believe it or not. But this way is better to go. Actually, this would be smooth sailing from here on out. If you hit that bell, you get rings. I don't really want them. Don't fuck it, I make the jump. Oh well. Only lasting about a third of a second. 
Seems like Sonic could really monopolize this whole riding tree on a helicopter thing. Oh, I didn't land on the other platform. Make it! Beautiful. I'm not really 9 seconds ahead of my previous platform, right? These things are floating in the air. I don't even get that. It feels kind of lazy to me. Everything else tries to incorporate the stage in some form or another. But I'm not 9 seconds ahead because I usually hit the lower of Stargate. Yeah, it's probably more like less than a second. This thing's floating in the air too, but at least there's something behind it. And you're looking at it dead on, so it's not really the nice. This cut this get lost on the way here or something? Like, why was he doing all that? Okay, now I take it back. This is my favorite stage in the game. Because this is my favorite game in the franchise. And one thing the stage goes right with. Well, he'll see it. I think one thing the stage goes wrong, this game doesn't have the original rendition of City Escape on it. You can only get the remixes. Bullshit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go and get the original and play that here instead. In fact, I think I'm gonna take a lot of Sonic Adventure 2 music for this. In fact, that's probably something I should tell you. I can't listen to music while I'm recording this. I am listening to this dead air. You should try that. I have a really short video on my channel about what that's like. It's so jarring. It's not even funny. It's like it's like cereal without milk. You know, not even the kind of cereal is good with it. But anyway, what the state does right is the gun truck. They really amped this fun of a bitch up. Alright. Man, matter of fact, get to snowboard. We get to skate. But they end up the gun truck. It's basically the centerpiece of both Sonic's stages. He's more of a danger to the fucking city than I am. You see that? He smashes into the buildings like crazy, and he's like two lanes wide. He's destroying characters where he goes. Anyway, he's somehow gonna end up over here. Oh fuck! Make it up! No, Jesus! Ah. Oh. Oh, I think that's right. Ah, 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 ah. Actually, wait, what do I care? I'm so There's gonna be a Billy Contract Crafter somewhere who's gonna be pissed! You see, at this point, the truck is really beat up. And now it's destroyed. That bitch is fucking dead. I'm not gonna lie to you, I actually really don't like Seaside Heroes level down that much. I'm probably second place behind uh, the last level. There's a red ring down there, I've never bothered to go get it. I mean, all it is is artwork and sometimes a new song. I really don't give a shit. That elevator sometimes throws you off, by the way. Sometimes it's on its way down and sometimes it's on its way up. And if it's on its way up, you just kinda gotta sit there with your thumb in your ass and wait for it to come back. And another dead fish. Anybody want Robo fillets by any chance? I'm not making a shitload of them. In case you're wondering what that red ring is still doing there, I keep ending the stage before I'm actually at the end of the stage, so I don't save any of these. There's another one coming up, I gotta grab them too. I'll grab them about 10 times each. I'm gonna lag on that cannon, but, but uh, Yeah, this Sonic, this, this game doesn't like being recorded for some reason. I don't even get it. It's, I've never had this much trouble getting a game to record fluidly. Probably the bad optimization on part of Sonic Team Sonic one for the past one. Let's take this cannon, because I don't really remember what the other one is. Oh, right, yeah, it just moves you into the back room. No, you don't. Ah, uh, I would've been green if I didn't get caught up at the bottom of the ramp. Lots of cannon. This game's all about the. This stage's all about the cannon from heroes. That's the, that. This game represents heroes. In order, but I didn't really like it myself. I thought, I felt, I thought it got way too bloated with all the characters you can play as. If that aren't Sonic, I mean, who the fuck wants to play as Amy fucking Rose when they can play as Sonic? Okay, yeah, you played as Amy and Big in the Sonic Adventure, but at least her campaign was short. This thing, it, it went up and oh. These things are determined. They want me fucking dead. It's chasing me around the loopy loop. Are you fucking real? Now, you're probably wondering what I've been wondering. What everyone's been wondering since they played this game. Just what the hell is Sonic 2006 doing in a game 
representing Sonic's accomplishments as a franchise. That game was a fucking disaster, and nobody liked it. Well, I'm sure you probably know, like, one guy who liked it, but... He rules. Don't listen to him. Sonic the Sonic 2006 wasn't finished. Plain and simple. It was not a highlight of the game. It's kind of the poster for the poster boy for Sonic Team's decline, if you will. Although I do have one theory. I suspect maybe what they were thinking is that they would kind of give Sonic 2006 a... Uh, well, we fucked up, it wasn't finished, we released it on incomplete. This is what it would have been like if we gave it the fair and attention we thought it deserved, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Because this is a good stage, I gotta give it that. Oh god! Hey, I didn't get burned, that's sweet. But yeah, maybe that's what they were doing. They were like, well, we're gonna make something good out of Sonic 2006 with this game. And I can't really blame them, but there's one problem. Everything's on fire. Everything's red. It's actually, it's like, it's not a very creatively designed level. I mean, it's just the burning city, but this becomes a problem when you had to dodge spurts of fire and fire-based enemies, and sometimes you can't even see them. This isn't really bad now, but there's a point coming up where I have to start dodging tornadoes. Oh, by the way, while you're running down these falling highways, do not spin that. You will die. Trust me, I found this other highway more than once. Although, quick aside before I forget, the music in the stage is really awesome. What? What? No, Sonic, you're not even supposed to know about the dimension. Don't do that. Yeah, sometimes Sonic can spin, if you try to do a spin dash while Sonic's turning around, he can try to spin dash off the 2D plane he's on, and obviously it doesn't even go anywhere. Oh, fuck you, I got hurt by the flaming dog dick monster. Probably gonna be a Super Sonic for this next right here. Well, who cares? That's the end of the stage, right? Psych! Now we gotta chase after it. Now this is the part I hate. Every time that tornado starts up in the background, it fucks with your controls with wind. Come on, Sonic, move it. I wouldn't have made that jump, but I went back. 32, 32. Oh, wait, whoops, I wasn't supposed to go this way. I was supposed to go up. The end gate just flew by the concert spot. Didn't make it. Oh well. Oh well, we're at the end. He's stuck to a building. This is another very good stage. This one representing Sonic Unleashed, which was actually not that bad a game in terms of... That's kind of the opposite problem of Sonic 2006. Sonic 2006's main problem is just being an unfinished game, and... And, well, it had an identity crisis, too. It, it was trying to be Final Fantasy, but this game's problem was Sonic the Werehog, who thankfully does not show up anywhere in this game. So we just, we just get to see the good parts of Sonic Unleashed. Well, good for the times. The dark times. Which is the rooftop run. Oh, I'm not even going to try to go across the platform, but I want these rings. And I got these rings. That row is a pain in the ass. If you tr your instincts to spin jump into them and kill them. But if you spin jump into their hands when they're up, you get hurt. I could have spin dash us then, but who cares? I'm behind because of the rings in case you're wondering. Obviously I get I can go faster if I just skip them and go right through the gate. I can also sometimes, very rarely without controlling it, dash on top of those two guys and make it right up to the gate instead of having to jump up to it, but I can't control when it happens. It just it just happens. There we go. Now let's see if we can get to that bumper before the next barrel. Oh, that was fucking close. If you get hit by that barrel and get over this thing, Jesus! If you get hit by that barrel while it's rolling down, you will get thrown basically back into a pit. And this part up here is a bit of a pain in the ass. This is actually why I wanted Super Sonic. Come on, make it. Super Sonic! Oh, that sound is so lovely when you're invincible. Oh god, I almost went right through between the two rings. That would have been embarrassing. Just fall to my death in Super Sonic. The other reason I want Super Sonic here are those robots are a real pain in the ass. The ones like blazing the tower. This guy here too, he, he'll hurt you if you try to dash up to him. Ah, 
Ah, I'll take a ride. I don't have to worry about the bots because I'm supersonic. Down we go. Because, you know, this whole situation makes hella sense. Well, Eggman's probably pissed about that. What was Eggman doing up there anyway? Is he like celebrating the rocket uh, robots or something? I don't remember what the context of this level because it's uh, Sonic Heroes. No matter, we're done. I hate this fucking stage. I think everybody hates this fucking stage. At the very least, it's the worst stage of this game. Mainly because of this fucking thing. Okay, that whole first section you get to do is really erratic. You kind of just gotta have faith the game will send you the right way, but otherwise they can just throw you into your death. Hate it. Oh, this, this jump here is a pain in the ass, too. Come on! Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay, this next one's a pain. Yes! Keep it going! Made it. Beautiful. The problem is that this is based on Sonic Color. Why did that fucking hurt me? This is based on Sonic Colors, and each Sonic gets a color to play with. Classic gets pink, and Sonic Modern gets the rocket. The fucking spike power is a pain in the ass. It's so fucking hard to control because he like... Whoa! Oh, no, 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 yes! Oh, thank god, I almost fucked the elevator ride. But it, it's like really hard to get it on the walls you want to, because sometimes it gets... It just sort of gravitates to random walls. It's, it's really hard to explain if you don't play the level. Oh, fuck you, that hurt me. Oh, by the way, the elevator right there has the same problem as the elevator in the Seaside Hill. It can just be anywhere and completely fuck up your run. Other problem is that the music that plays when you have the Sonic or you have the Spike Tower is really fucking annoying. I'm gonna spare you that. I'm put, I'm just having the music the level play consistently the whole time. Wop. Alright. And then there's these gears. You gotta interact with these gears with the Spike Ball. And... Maybe make jump. Whoa, whoa, no, stop! I'm just cheap. The game sent me into the rockets. Yeah, the other problem is those gears would slow you down. They really, you know, there's no fast way to handle the gears. I mean, you can spin that down, but still, it's really lots of start and stop for trying to do don't like I can't hear here the sound when this is about to end because I can't hear the music. Whoa! No, no, stop getting gravitated. No, stare, stop it. The reason he's getting gravitated to that wall to the right over there, I think, is because there's a way to jump past his whole puzzle and not do it. I've never been able to pull it off. Oh god, no, hit this. But I've never been able to pull it off, so I don't, I don't even try. It. You don't even want to know how many times I've had to re-record this fucking stage in order to get this Although I do remember this being near the end of it. Yeah, in case you're wondering, those pink blocks can only be broken by touching him with the uh, spike ball. Jump into it. Interestingly, this is the only time that Modern Tank could ever do a spin dash when he was the pink, uh, pink ball of stupid. Well, we are done! Whoa, the stage has ended to the right, dude. Did you see that?